Oh my god. I have fond memories of sites like Congregate, Nitrome, Cool Math Games, Mini Clip. And... Each of these had their own. How's it going folks, Jack here with another video. So let me tell you a little story before we dive into this one, because it's kind of related to this. My sister is studying computer engineering and she wrote to me the other day and asked me if I could help her code something. And I was like, no, I haven't done that in a while. And she told me that she was doing it in JavaScript, the programming language that is doing the thing that it's not supposed to do. I mean, JavaScript, while coding in it makes you say two words only and that's this so i asked her for what purpose and she said that her and her group were making flash games wow. and my heart skipped a beat i had like a reverberations of like vine booms going on there because it just brought so much nostalgia but with that story said we have here the ultimate tier list for flash games by marty z tupens let's dive into it Oh, balloons. I see, uh, ooh, Age of War. Oh, it's Caveman. That one's good. Hello again. Welcome back. Flash Games, a great relic of the 2000s. Today, we'll be ranking them in a tier list to determine which games are truly the best and which are objectively poo tier trash trash. If you were anything like me as a kid, then you probably spent a great deal of time on many different websites playing Flash games. Oh my god. I have fond memories of sites like Congregate, Nitrome, Cool Math Games, Mini Clip. and... Each of these had their own personal identity and a catalogue of games. Some good, some bad, and some oh. just kinda... strange. Today we'll be playing these games and pitting them against each other to determine which game is truly the best. As you may have heard, Adobe is ceasing support for Flash Player at the end of the year, so I figured I would make this video before this chunk of our history is erased. Keep in mind, this list is 100% objective fact and cannot be argued with. <laughs> anyway, let us begin. Commando is good. We'll start our journey with D tier, because as we all know, low-end mediocrity is far worse than abject failure. Sure. We begin our journey with a true classic, <laughs> Block Saws. Probably a good game, but simply put, this game. It really puts into perspective just how little functional brain cells I actually have. <laughs> yeah, sure, the game True. is probably good, but oh my god, just get in the hole! Ah! You gotta roll this rectangle prism guy into this hole right here. He doesn't IQ test. So you gotta roll him in vertically. Dude, just get in the fu- Every level gets harder, and every waking minute I spend here decreases my IQ by several points. D tier. Trash. Don't ever talk to me again. <clears throat> Well, we're off okay, to a good start. On, we have Bubble Trouble. Wait, Bubble Struggle. Bubble yeah, struggle? I was about to say. Yeah. Or bubble Struggle Shoot 2 bubbles. also. Bubble Split into two more bubbles. Shoot more bubbles. Thrilling. Once again, I find myself utterly incapable of predicting the path of a bouncing bubble. Fuck! The first few levels are fairly easy, but then... Wow! Fuck! This game also features a two-player mode designed to instill as much hatred for your fellow man as possible. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this game fucking sucks. Get out of here. It turns you to monkey mode. Also, um, way of still playing Flash games is just by downloading an older version of whatever browser you're using. Because, well, the reason why it was discontinued was that people were complaining about it. And so in 2020, this Adobe sent out a notice that they will no longer support updates for Flash. So uh, if you get an older version of your browser, for example, Chrome, uh, you can always play these. Around mm, medium detail, we have Interactive Buddy. This game is bizarre. It is weird. It's the only game I know of that allows you to brutally assault ex-president George <laughs> W. Bush. This guy is our interactive buddy, who we can tickle, pick up, sing him a tune on the radio, and then set him on fire, throw infants at him, and nuke him from orbit. This game appeals to the sadistic masochist buried deep inside every child's mind. 
<laughs> like any classic CIA interrogation, there isn't actually an end goal. Of course, if you consider buying more powerful fun tools, then there is one. To get items and weapons, you need money, which is earned by repeatedly throwing bowling balls into the poor guy's head. Oh. We can also use this money to dress our interactive buddy up as different people. <laughs> more. Like Republican, Democrat, Guerrilla Fighter, Teletubby. Who the fuck is Tom? The game also features different modes, like uh, blood and gore. Oh no. What the fuck? D tier. Weird. Yeah. Cut the rope. It's one of I've those weird game a lot. new ground it's games. Not great. You cut a rope and feed this little dull bludger his Centrelink payment. Wonderful. I actually just came to realize that many of like the games that we got on our mobile devices today the trendy one that is games that were made before our phones turned into playstation portables dude i i can't get over the fact that i can play armor core on my phone like all of these flash games were just precursors for those it's kind of satisfying to get the thing to get all three stars but really it's boring d tier go away <laughs> moving quickly on to c tier we have duck life this game <laughs> plays like learn to fly but worse in almost every way they made four Gotta of these, and they all play more or less the same. You get your duck, train him to become an elite CrossFit athlete, and then race him against other ducks. Give My strategy in steroids. this game is quite simple. Make your duck a literal supersonic jet for the flying event, and nothing else on all other events. Yeah, sure, the other ducks will gain the initial lead, but your flying will be so dominant that they will still lose. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this measurement here is meters, which means our duck at max speed can go one kilometer per second. Then, feed your duck the most potent anabolic steroids money can buy and have him race. True. Now watch here as our duck starts out slowly, losing our initial lead to the other ducks in the race. The other ducks get to the cliff first, leap off and begin flying. Our duck comes along and leaps off the cliff and absolutely <laughs> smokes these other plebs. Easy. C tier. C is for quack. Next Should've up, been higher. we have Extreme Bubblota. Oh. You play as this runny away guy. Cool game but very simple. The controls are literally three buttons. Just hold the right arrow and press up occasionally. You start in Pamplona, España, running away from a bull. Is there one Next in Holland? Next up, you go to either Holland or Deutschland and run away from women. <laughs> Stay safe, king. Then you get two of three choices. Just don't choose Switzerland and France. you'll be good. Seriously, the ski guy does not mess around. Fuck! Once you've been chased through the entire country of France in 40 seconds, you arrive in Sweden where you get chased by this fat guy through a bathhouse. <laughs> to escape the bathhouse, you must use the surrounding fat guys and launch yourself to the upper floors. After you bounce off of the Swedish population, you go back to Spain and run back into the stadium with the bull chasing. Nice. C-tier. Simple and Sorry about that. I had uh, to let the cat out. She was getting just a little bit annoying. Simple and good. Up next, okay. we've got Heli Attack 3. You play as Never this guy, this. who spends his days shooting down helicopters with a pistol, grenades, and many kooky weapons. Okay. Incredible. Occasionally, helicopters drop said weapons for you to better shoot down the other helicopters with. Each level has a quota that you must fulfill. Once fun. you destroy the local rotary wing airspace, you move on to the next level. The next what level the? has stronger helicopters for you to destroy. Once you reach the final level, you don't win. You enter the endless mode, which gets boring quite quickly. It's like Contra. C tier. Commando. Oh, ah, the yes. best game. The first commando game. This game is horrendously difficult. Just, just look at you it. You have three lives to beat the entire game. Sprite out. What the fuck? Bruh. You play as a British commando from World War II, tasked with single-handedly destroying the entire German army. You can shoot in exactly two directions. Directly forward and straight up. Mm -hmm. The game also has pretty terrible input lag. Health packs are spread really far apart. Some of the platforming is just plain no. rude. No, you <laughs> And you only get three lives, oh my god! Hence why I wasn't able to finish the game despite playing it for a couple of hours. Yeah. Besides the horrid difficulty, the game is actually pretty fun. When you come across a tank, I'd recommend using grenades like this. Nice. C tier. B tier. Starting off with B tier, we have Run oh, 2. A true fame. staple of the Cool Math Games universe. In this game, you play as a faceless grey blob wearing skates that runs. And runs. And keeps on running. Yeah. yeah. What is it running from? We don't Nobody know. Nobody knows. But can only speculate. Oh no. I was waiting for it. Finishing each level is really quite easy. The difficulty in this game is collecting these yellow dots. There is one per level, and they usually require some brain activation to get. Yeah. I'll be honest, 
I never played this one much, but it's still pretty decent. B tier. Learn to Fly 1. The oh. first game in the Learn to Fly trilogy. Now these games are pog. You yeah. play as this penguin who gets epic troller lolled by a Wikipedia article stating that penguins are flightless birds. He's not happy about that. Our waddling protagonist then collects investment from someone and takes flight with the help of specially made penguin launching technology. Once again, I have to say it, this game is pog. To upgrade your equipment, you must gain money. To gain money, you need to fly for long duration at high altitude and to high speed. the iceberg. At the end of the game, you get a fast glider and a big rocket and take off into the distance, only to smash into a giant iceberg that was somehow out of sight. Permanently paralyzing our pinguino from the neck down. Look, something ingenious happened because at the time this game came out, at our school, we just had some renovations done. So a lot of the classrooms had a, a change from the normal blackboards into those pesky whiteboards. Now, those were so annoying to ride on because you always had to calibrate them. But one thing that it could do was displaying presentations, which of course meant that we could connect ourselves to the PCs and display whatever we wanted from the internet on it. So during our breaks, we will play a lot of these flash games outside of, of course, watching YouTube videos. Yeah, <laughs> great kids. And we did spend a lot of time traumatizing this bloody penguin. <laughs> Luckily, he got his revenge though. Epic series, decent game, B tier. <laughs> Next up, we toss oh, the title. No. If the, if the penguin one was bad, this one is just horrible. Ugh. The best total cruelty simulator on the market. That's disturbing. You get a cannon <laughs> and a slingshot and must fire this poor turtle as far as possible. Much like the Learn to Fly series, you earn money to get upgrades. These upgrades are then used to go further to earn more money and buy more upgrades. Now I spent around an hour and a half trying to complete this game before I realized that it never actually ends. <laughs> Once you unlock all the best stuff, there's nothing else to do. And the game gets boring. Still fun though. B tier. Yeah. Tanks. A classic multiplayer experience. Oh, Get your friends the and one complain that vigorously like, about uh, the shitty game design. Like Shoot worms. guys. Airstrike guys. <laughs> Nuke guys. Hot shower guys. Very nice. Tanks. B tier. Off the rails. Very solid game about two sombrero wearing cacti traversing the Mexican desert on a hand powered rail car. Good soundtrack, nice art and animations, and the cacti go. <laughs> Very good. B tier. Next up, we have Shopping Cart Hero. Uh, you play as this dude this who was... throws himself in a shopping cart repeatedly off a cliff for clout. Yeah. You can earn this clout to buy jet engines, afterburners, and friends to throw off the cliff. To get the most clout, you must perform tricks in a sequence, kind of like Tony Hawk. Very nice. B tier. Skywire 2. Not the most famous oh. game out there, but certainly a good one. You're Never a cable car that needs to deliver these little tic-tac dudes to the end of each level, presumably on some <laughs> fucked morning commute. Every mistake you make, one of the tic-tacs is ejected and sent to a watery demise. The music is solid, the level design and art are really good, the game yeah, is it just looks good. Like Except for these couple level. fucks, they can go away. B tier. Finally, Papa's Games. All of them in general, because they're pretty much the same game. For this video, I played Papa's Pizzeria, which involves the creation and poisoning of pizzas to deliver to unsuspecting <laughs> sure customers. These. You take their order, place God knows what that is in a specific pattern, throw the pizza in the oven for a specific amount of time, and then slice it up and give it to them. Bro, I wanted to come over. <laughs> the difficulty comes with more customers and more orders for you to get mixed up with. I'm a really shit multitasker, so I find this game mentally challenging. Hi, B tier. Good games. <laughs> Welcome to A tier. From here on, we get what is known as the Ooh Yeah Zone. For games that make you go, Ooh Yeah. Ooh Yeah. Our first Ooh Yeah of the video is Age, Age of War. Of War. This game is a true classic, and its it music is. is what I used in the intro. The game plays out on a 2D battlefield where soldiers patiently line up and wait their turn to whack each other. You have a I, I think that this is this, this was the inspiration of totally accurate battle battleground simulator. I mean. Just look at it. The base and the enemy has a base. To win, you simply destroy their base. The game has three types of units to choose from per age, and you can level up your base to create stronger ones. Yeah. To cheese the game and win easily, I'd recommend abusing the pause mechanic. 
It resets all the animations of all the characters on screen, meaning if you have a ranged unit, he can fire at pretty stupid rates. Would recommend. A wow. Okay, that was mine. Final Ninja Zero. Yet another, ooh yeah. You play as this ninja guy, who needs to run to an elevator in each level to win. You can run, jump, slide and jump off of walls, and go invisible for sneaky shurikens. stealth time, fling lots of shurikens at the bad guys, and also use shurikens as a grappling hook. Very fun, and quite good. Mm -hmm. A tier. N. You run, you jump. Sometimes you jump off of walls, sometimes you jump into mines, and sometimes you misjudge how high that ledge is. That's the game. Ah. Uh. Epic. To win, you have to reach this thing, which opens this door, and then run into said door. These yellow squares increase the time you have to do each series of levels. So don't In total, there's something like 500 levels, which is pretty pog. A tier. What? Good job. Stick War. This game plays like Age of War if it was a campaign <laughs> instead of a single battle. You mine resources to create units, and make said units go and smack the enemies dead. <laughs> Completing levels allows you to upgrade your existing units, and sometimes access entirely new ones. To win, you smash the enemy statue on the other end of the map. The game gets progressively more difficult as more mechanics and units are introduced. My pro gamer tip would be buy lots of archers and use these mage guys. They can spawn these dumb little fucks at a very high rate, while the archers go <laughs> Very good. A tier. Learn to fly 3. Our penguin returns <laughs> once again. Not to conquer penguin atmospheric flight, but to go beyond and reach the moon. This yeah. game is a lot like Learn to Fly 1, but instead of sideways, you go up. Astounding. There are a few factors that determine the height of your flight. The capsule you use, the rockets you have access to, the side boosters you attach, the weight of the system, and the starting explosive you use. Uh, oh, okay. I suppose that the second one is rated higher than it has to be. Because that one is good. Because that I played the hell out of that one because it's revenge. Anyway, yeah, good game. A tier. Ah yes, a true classic. Blues. Bloons Tower Defense 4. This game does everything a tower defense game can do right. The goal is extremely simple. Stop the hordes of balloons from making it to the end. To do this, you must place dart-flinging monkeys, boomerang-flinging monkeys, cruise missile launchers, bolt monkeys, plane monkeys, etc. This game is great. A tier. Fat Cat. Another game. Oh the best yeah, game I remember out there. this. Nitro. Nitro. Play as two characters at the same time. With the amazing the art. With the mouse and this big old flying Chonka. with the keyboard. To win, you simply get the big boy to the end of each level without dying. The owl yeah. can shoot this machine gun thing, and the cat has a giant laser it can use. Like any Nitrome game, the graphics and sound design are really good. Yep. Everything feels satisfying, and the game is just generally kinda pog. Well done, Nitrome. A tier. Simple. We're done with A tier, on to S tier. Officially, the big boy zone. Oh, Starting yeah. off S tier, we have Happy Wheels. Do I even need to explain this one? You the king! A cast of scuffed characters that go through levels. There is somewhat realistic physics, and each character in the game can be exploded into several small pieces. The game is very open ended, with literally millions of levels available to choose from. Fr People have got to stop making the most ridiculous levels. Like, why do you make one where you have to die immediately after, and you request that people beat it? Come on! From the level browser. Nice. There are a near infinite amount of ways your poor character can eat dirt. My personal favourites would be getting repeatedly shot in the head with a crossbow. <laughs> with the kid. And this giant combine thing. S tier. Uh. Motherload. This game is truly one of the best, and well deserving of the big boy title. Never played Motherload. In it, you play as this mining thingy that needs to go down and collect valuable resources. The game starts with our good friend Mr. Nuthouse giving us a briefing on what we're supposed to be doing here. Like the video if you show unconditional support and admiration for Mr. Nottis. <laughs> you get dropped off by this dropship thing onto the surface of Mars as a well-paid miner. Mr. Nottis informs us that things have been kinda weird around here lately, so he's willing to pay a premium for miners like us to go down and dig. The deeper you dig, the more valuable resources you come across. Even things like ancient religious artifacts and Martian fossils <laughs> can be found. You also get radio transmissions from other people, presumably mining as well. 
The deeper you go, the stranger they become. Mm -hmm. Mining and selling ores gives you cash to spend inside three shops. Equipment, upgrades, and fuel. Okay. I would highly recommend upgrading your fuel tank to a higher capacity because it runs out exceptionally quickly. Once you've dug down to 4,000 feet, things start getting pretty strange. The radio communications are weirder, there are lots of impenetrable rocks and lava pockets, and sometimes the dirt just explodes and kills you instantly. Epic. Past 5,000 feet is too dangerous to use the drill, and explosives must be used to mine out dirt. Okay. At 6,000 feet, the altimeter goes all weird and doesn't tell you how deep you've gone. But you keep digging until you find the bottom. Once at the bottom, you enter a giant cavern, and who else to greet you down there Mr. but the trustworthy Nutter. and admirable Mr. Nutters. Oh, he's the devil! His name backwards is... Satan. Satan. Oh my god, that's like doing the Alucard backwards. Um, right. Hmm. So naturally, you hit him with the... Well, at least you can kill well Satan. Well done. Oh fuck, it's Mega Satan. <laughs> Once again, you hit him with the... <laughs> okay. Very good game. S nice. <laughs> Commando 2. Ooh. The first shooter game that I properly played as a kid. Japan. Play as the same guy from the first game. Except, he's learned to shoot at angles other than 90 degrees. Whatever the first game did wrong, this game did right. Mm -hmm. There are four levels, each with three levels of difficulty. You get nine lives to complete the game, which may seem like a whole lot more than Commando 1, but it's actually still pretty low, especially considering how hard the later levels get. This time, our boy has been sent to the Pacific Theater to destroy the entire Imperial Japanese Army, including whatever this thing is, this Kung Fu with an O yeah. warrior dude, a giant flying crab, and this samurai rocket. Need I say more? There are Straight out of Command and Conquer. And you get to organize them into a loadout. Meaning, you can carry more than one gun. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Great music, great art and animations, great backgrounds, great game. Yeah. S tier. Command us a dub. Learn to fly too. Ooh, now this game here we is go. not only Pog. It has gone beyond and achieved... Mega Pog. Our brave penguin returns with one goal destroy the giant iceberg he flew into in the first game. To do this, Pinguino has enlisted the help of this vaguely penguin-shaped dummy for use as a high-powered, nuclear-armed hypersonic missile. Once again, our penguin has collected money from a mysterious <laughs> investor and is using it in his ICBP program. The penguin. is for penguin. Yep. To raise money, we must fly for a long duration at high speed and high altitude while destroying as many natural landmarks as possible. There's a snowman, snow pile, mountain, Little Iceberg, and finally, the wall. To effectively destroy the wall, I would recommend attaching a nuclear warhead to our of brave course. pinguino and firing them off into the distance. Mega Pug. Epic. S tier. Best of the series. Amazing game. Stellar work. Incredible. How do they keep doing this? Raft Wars. The premier shooting people off rafts into shark infested water game. Yeah. Bah. Little Slim Tim over here Leg finds worms. this big old diamond while digging around in the sand at a local beach. A story is run in the newspaper, which prompts a bunch of different individuals to go and try take the treasure. You've got pirates, vikings, gangbangers, your neighbours, <laughs> these <clears throat> racially ambiguous men, and whatever these guys are. Oh my nice. God. Naturally, you repeatedly shoot tennis balls at them until they fall into the water and drown. In the final level, your other neighbours have tied your parents to a tree who need to be rescued. You drown your remaining neighbors and rescue your parents to save the day. <laughs> but then, yeah! sadly, your parents are evil and also want the treasure. Oh. So you drown them too. Oh no. Wait, wait. <laughs> well done. Everyone you know is dead, but at least you got the bread. That was not your brother. <laughs> that was not the kid. What happened to his hair? <laughs> I mean, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was just surprised by the change. Well done. Everyone you know is dead, but at least you got the bread. <laughs> S tier. Bloons Tower Defense 5. Oh, Remember yeah. how I said BTD4 did everything right? Well, this game does everything even more right. 
It adds heaps of features. Lots of new towers, the multiple bank. upgrade costs to choose per tower, abilities, the monkey bank, etc. During my recording stuff. session of this game, I got a little past round 100, which plays more like a PowerPoint presentation than an actual game. Very good. This game is quite big, so I really can't do it justice in this video. Just take my word for it. It's a great game. S tier. Yeah, Seth made an entire review on the sex. Age entry. of War 2. Similar to the first game, but better in every way. You start in the Caveman Age, and must advance to higher ages to acquire better units, stronger abilities, and more scuffed tactics. The ages are ordered a little strangely. First off, we got Caveman. Fair <laughs> enough. Next is Spartan Age. Okay, yeah, that's like 1000 BC. Ancient understandable. Egyptian. Next, the Ancient Egyptian Age. 4000 BC. The priest, a badass. Oh, yeah. Then we jump forward 5000 years to the Medieval Age, which is full of fairies. <laughs> then we get Renaissance. Swordman. Handles the sword like nobody else does. <laughs> okay. Rifleman. Will not hesitate to use his musket to teach a lesson. <laughs> then we get Modern Age. Infantry it's soldier. Like the grenade. Will perform advanced combat tactics. Grenade soldier. Will blow. Blow up, rather. <laughs> your mind. Wow. And finally, the future age. <laughs> I will now demonstrate how to beat this game on the highest difficulty. First off. Understand that the only way to make money and XP is to kill enemies. Sure. This means if we want to maximize profit, we need to spend as little money as possible per each kill we get. For this job, we use the Chicken Smacker 9 million. The Chicken Smacker fires eggs at a very high speed at enemy combatants, doing considerable damage for a relatively low cost. Then we wait until they're within range before spawning in our own guys. Using this tactic, we can reliably make more money per unit than if there was no Chicken Smacker. Continue this until you get to the Egyptian Age, where you spawn as many priests as physically possible. Mm -hmm. Make sure to upgrade both their damage and, and range. Their range yeah. Once the audio starts clipping, you know you're doing well. <laughs> From this point, you most likely have a pretty strong lead and can simply spawn in range units until you win. Nice. S tier. <laughs> well, that's it then. Well, we have The more. best and worst flash games of my childhood. Wait a minute. Yeah. What about poo tier? Surely there's something that belongs down here. There's also something above S, as far as I could see. <laughs> okay, a lot of dots. No, 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 no. Another one, like the squack. I Poo get tier. it. I sympathize with that. <clears throat> <laughs> so, is that it? Can I finally leave? No. Ah! Uh, God? Is that you? What? No. You missed a tear. What? You missed a tear, dumbass. Oh, <laughs> this one here? Yes. Yep. Well, uh... I don't know any games that would go there. Sit tight, fucko. Watch this. Oh my god, Obama aliens. Oh, I Is that? forgotten about this. Oh my god. Obama alien defense. <laughs> that used to be a thing. Hello, gents. Oh Thanks my for god. watching this horrible mess. When I sat down great. to write this, I thought, damn, the last video was pretty long. Let's do a short one. That worked well. Yeah. I'd like to thank everyone for being patient with my incredibly lazy upload schedule. Next video should be a KSP one, so sit tight for that. I realize I haven't been streaming a lot, but I'll definitely get back on that grind for next video, so stay posted for that. I'd also like to extend a thanks to these dudes, who pressed the join button and became Bean Extraordinaires. Wow. They're all quite pog. As some of you may know, the Discord was permanently deleted for violating Discord Terms of Service, which I consider somewhat of an achievement. Oh, I honestly no. haven't had much use for it, so for the time being, it'll stay deleted until I figure out a use case. So, uh, don't join the Discord, because there is no Discord. Have a nice day, and remember to give me all your pocket money for nothing in return. <laughs> Bye. There is an insane catalogue of Flash games, so I, I don't think that if he were to go through all of them, that he could have ever made a video like this. 
but for the onesie covered, I fully agree with this list. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, please do go and subscribe to Martin Turpin's channel. Uh, amazing videos that he makes. And of course, if you like this one, give the video a like. And I wish you all a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.